Hi beautiful people, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. It's great to have you in my little corner of YouTube where we speak all things adulting, faith, and lifestyle. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That red button must turn gray. Give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you enjoyed about today's video and what other videos you'd like to see. Share this with anybody and everybody who you think might need it. And last but not least, hit those notification bell so that you do not miss another video. So without wasting any more time, let us get straight into today's video. So we're back, back again with another vlog. This vlog is a week in my life or an attempt at a week in my life. Yeah. Today is Monday, the 24th of April. I had to think about that because I never know what the date is. Today is Monday, the 24th of April, and I'm working from home today. Um, and I thought I should start this vlog today because it's going to be a very long and eventful week um so i'm currently in the middle of my working from home day it is i don't know what time it is it's probably like 12 o'clock maybe yeah maybe it's around 12. um and i am about to head into a meeting and i know it's a very random time to start the vlog but i just had a spur of the moment motivation so here we are be thankful for it because it doesn't come often these days so yeah anyway um so let me get into this meeting and then i'll probably catch up with you guys probably tonight um yeah it's a three-day work week but it's a very long week because you obviously have to get five days worth of work done in three days which is fun um but i think i did quite a bit over the weekend as well as last week to put me in a good position for this week so i don't think i'm gonna be dying and going crazy or whatever so yeah let me stop rambling i will see you guys in a bit let me get into this meeting and then yeah we'll take it from there i don't know if this vlog is gonna be chaotic or if it's gonna come together but let's see i haven't recorded a week in my life in a really long time so because yeah anyway bye guys <laughs> today is tuesday the 25th of april and yesterday i forgot to vlog the rest of the day in the evening um, my sister and i went to the mall we went to discam clicks crocs and mr price home um to get a few things for her place and yeah that's it when we got home we just chilled People were in the four-hour load shedding, but I haven't experienced load shedding. Ask me why, because I'm an inverted girl now. Thanks. Um, we're actually load shedding now as well, um, and I don't know what load shedding is anymore. Anyway, um, so people were in load shedding, so it was really dark by the time we got back. Um, we bought food, and we came home. Today is her birthday. So happy birthday, sis. Um, I already wrote all the mushy stuff um, to you personally, but I love you so much. I... Yo... If there's someone I thank God for every day, it has to be you. Um, so may God increase. Um, may he just show and shine his face upon you as you enter the third floor. We love to see it. We love to see it. Um, so yeah, I am at work. She's running errands. She's on leave this week. One thing about my sister that we should all learn from her, she doesn't work on her birthday. Since she started working, like since she started adulting she's never worked on her birthday and i'm taking that principle for myself um even if i don't have plans why am i suffering at work on my birthday so yeah so she's running a few errands um and stuff this morning um so i am at work by myself and that's it that's it so it's another working from home day i was supposed to be at the office today but um, i woke up not feeling too well um so i decided to work remotely um so yeah that's that on that on that on that 
there is quite a bit to get out like i said yesterday it's a three-day week but five days worth of work so once again i am going to be mia trying to finish that work i think the interesting stuff will start on like tomorrow tomorrow's the 26th right yeah the interesting stuff will start tomorrow after work um going into thursday uh because i have a very jam-packed weekend so yeah that's when you'll start seeing the interesting stuff so until then there's not much to see except me working from home um and running errands and stuff so yeah that's that on that on that i'll catch you guys a bit later not sure if i'm going to show you guys anything today but i just thought i should come in and say hi um yeah yeah that's that on that so see you guys a bit later <laughs> people so clearly i'm looking much better than what you guys saw this morning um i have bathed and my day got started and all of that stuff it is half past three at the moment and you just saw me unpack and set up um some wine and cake for my girl um so she took a little drive to her hometown to Haman's Kral today and i called her a few minutes ago to find out where she's at um so that I can set up a surprise for her. So I ordered some cake um, and wine, her favorite wine, on Woolies Dash. This is not sponsored, but Woolies, if you do come across this video, do sponsor me in future, thanks. Um, so I ordered um, that on Woolies Dash and they just delivered it and I've set up. The only thing that's left is to put candles in the cake, um, but I'm probably only gonna do that when she's literally like, at the door because i don't want to open the cake and have it dry out or anything so yeah so that's what i'm doing and we're also going for dinner tonight with a group of her friends as well just to celebrate her um there's been a whole lot going on in her life and i think it's very important that we celebrate her as well um so yeah that's that on that on that and that explains why i was quickly just setting up so that i can get back to work and if time runs away at least when she gets here the setup would have been done so yeah Okay guys, so my sister just got to her place and I need to help her carry some stuff into her house. So that's where I'm going. I've set up. Let me show you guys the cake. Um, it's just like I've added 30 to the cake. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work out with how I'm trying to do it. But that's that with her wine and a glass so that as soon as she walks into the house, she can indulge. So I'm going to quickly head out to her place now, help her with what she needs help with. And then we're going to come here to get ready for dinner. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Um, I probably won't be able to vlog what I'm helping her with that side because I need my hands. So yeah, I'll probably see you guys when we get back to my place. Yeah. Also, we just entered into load shedding as well. So the traffic is going to be bad, but it should take me like five minutes to get to her tops. Five minutes. I'm going to take an inside route. So yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling. See you guys a bit later. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Wait, I need to get the keys on my face. <laughs> to you. Happy birthday. Cold, yeah. <laughs> to Bonolo. So Happy birthday oh, to you. Thank you, sis. It's a pleasure. It's so pretty. I'm glad you like it. 30. 30. We need to light them. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday to sure. you. I don't wish you for. Oh my gosh. Should you make a wish? Make a wish, darling. You can't enter the 30s. What are we without... wishing for? Oh my goodness, there's so much to wish for. I can get a lot, but sure. Okay. Welcome to 30 Sis. Yes. Just so we're all clear. Don't put my age on. On Thursday, I headed off to Young Adults Camp with our church and this was the first time I attended a Young Adults Camp and I can say that I do not regret it. We um, spent a whole lot of time in fellowship, spending time in the presence of the Lord, a whole lot of praise and worship, having rigorous discussions about different topics that affect us as young adults, such as, you know, starting side hustles, um, navigating relationships and marriage, finances, um, all of that stuff. And we had some um, sermons from some great youth leaders as well it was a really great experience and i would definitely recommend it for all of you who are wanting to go in the future your favorite's back hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel join us on the trip because it's gonna be fun it's gonna be popping so that next time you can join us yeah, we love to see it. Yeah, we love to see it. Just yeah, On Friday, we started our day off with some aerobics and then we had our morning praise and worship session and we had a sermon about the production line with um, Apostle Lois who was speaking about, you know, trusting the owner of the process, not rushing the process and allowing God to take you through each and every phase of the process. Thereafter, we went to the beach and we had a whole lot of time at the beach spending time playing games and you know having competitions and all of that stuff it was really really fun and then we ended the day off with some open discussions as well
What do you have to say? What do you have to say? I want to say something. We're listening. I just want to say something. Thank you. On Saturday morning, we had our morning devotion in our groups and then we shared on this um, at our plenary session. After this, the day was just filled with a whole lot of active activities such as an obstacle course as well as hiking at the gorge. We hiked down to the gorge and some people went down and jumped into the water. Others stayed up um, because the hike was quite intense but because I'm a liker and a lover of things, I went down. I wanted to go see as well. <laughs> so yeah. A long time ago. Inja ya zinja, inja ya zinja. Inja matot, inja matot. Away, away. On Sunday, we had our usual morning session with praise and worship and a preaching. Thereafter, we split into two groups. Some people went paintballing and others stayed behind and played some board games. I stayed behind and played board games because I was scared of hurting my back. Thereafter, we went to the beach and had a great time at the beach. It was such a beautiful time. Um, I love water. I love nature. It's really just, I'm so at peace. So that was basically our session. Sunday.
my parting words before i end this vlog is to allow god to shift and move in your life do not limit him do not limit what his power can do in your life and just surrender i think that is the biggest takeaway for me just surrender um so i will see you guys in the next vlog i didn't record an outro so don't forget to comment like subscribe and share this with so much love and so much light from me to you have an amazing rest of the day stay safe and god bless bye guys